Hello everyone and welcome in this new video tutorial. Today we are going to see how to create this amazing website in Elementor and WordPress. So the website is actually made by me, the design uh, it's for free and you can download it in the link that I will leave you in the description. So as you can see the design is working pretty well, it's also responsive and mobile friendly. So we have some category, food, categories and yeah it's pretty easy clean and simple you can use it for your personal use or for your clients so let's start with a new fresh wordpress site and i will let you know how to create this so the first thing you need to do is to get into your wordpress website and go on a uh, templates appearance and themes so be sure that you have hello team of elementor uh, installed on your website uh, you can get the link in the video uh, in the video description i will leave it there uh, after you have installed that be sure you have some posts so i have some posts i made um, here with some categories food travel um, so be sure to make those so that we can see the final result with the design and then we can start importing everything um, all the design with elementor so we are going to elementor right now uh, going to templates here click on templates and you will be able to import your templates so i'm going to click templates here um, it allows you to upload your content, so I'm going here, blog it zip, and I'm going to um, add my zip folder. I'm going to click on import now. Great, everything has been imported and now we need to uh, set everything up to get a website. So right now, if I check my website, as you can see, I only have the post and yeah nothing really happening right here um, so i'm going to close here and i'm going to um, make some pages so all pages as you can see i don't have any page i'm going to create one add page and i will start with the home page like that home add it with elementor great now i need to get here in the settings and select uh, page layout elementor full width great now we need to go in this uh, icon folder go on my template and we go to select the page type and in our case is the home page so as you can see the page type is page and i'm going to click insert great now we have our home page set it up with our articles automatically added awesome now i can click on publish perfect the second thing i need to do is to get back to uh, wordpress and change some other settings so i'm getting back i'm going on settings and reading and I'm going to change the static page to our new home that we just created. So I'm going to click Save Changes. Perfect. Now I'm going again to Pages, All Pages, and I'm going to create also the blog page. So I'm going to click Add New. I will call this blog, add it with Elementor. Great. Now that we have um, this page here, we need to do the same thing. We're going to uh, settings, we're going to page layout, Elementor full width. Great, now I'm going to the folder icon, click on it, my templates, and we are going to select um, the blog page. Be sure the type is page, so I'm going to click insert. Perfect, now everything looks very nice. I'm going to click on publish and I'm going back to WordPress. Now we have uh, our two pages here and we need to set up the header and the footer and you know uh, the single article layout and everything. So we are going to do like that. We're going to templates and we are going to team builder 
and of course uh, the team builder works only with Elementor Pro so um, check out the link in the description of this video to get Elementor Pro great so now we need to um, set up uh, every single thing like we can start from the blog archive so I'm going to uh, edit this with Elementor we are going to click on this little arrow here um, just on the right side of update and display conditions we click add condition and this will be all active so it's correct I'm going to save and close perfect now I'm going back again to WordPress let's go to Tem Builder okay so we are in the team builder um, now we need to add the footer so I'm going to click edit with Elementor I'm going here in a small arrow uh, as you can see the footer is actually this one uh, it's pretty simple so it's not very visible but we are going to click on the uh, arrow here and display condition add condition and we'll leave this include entire site save and close let's go back to WordPress dashboard and um, builder great so now we need to create the header so we're going to edit with Elementor the header after same thing little arrow display condition add a condition and leave it entire site save and close perfect now we are going back again to exit and dashboard so um, back to temp builder and we are going to click single post so this will be the design of the single post add it with Elementor we need to click as usual on here display condition add condition all singular so actually I prefer to go on um, post select post and leave it all so I'm sure that every post has uh, this layout so I'm going to save and close perfect so this is the design as you can see let's go back to the dashboard so that we can edit the other pages uh, temp builder uh, single category so I'm going to click single category added with Elementor great now we need to do the same exact thing click on the arrow display condition add condition and now we're going to add as a category so post archive I'm going to category categories all save and close perfect now I'm going back to my dashboard exit to dashboard and now we need to go on pop-ups on pop-ups you will find full menu this will be the menu of our website so we are going to click here edit with Elementor as you can see this is your pop-up and you can edit your content changing the description changing the name um, your icons adding your links right here or opening in a new tab new windows and you can edit uh, your content so once you have edited it you just need to click update and get back to WordPress dashboard perfect one thing that we forgot is to link the menu icon to the menu pop-up so let's check the website very fast great going to click on the menu icon and as you can see we have everything but it's missing the actual menu so without the menu we can navigate on the website so we are going to fix that in a moment let me check the single article actually the single article is working very well we can go to the next article and everything looks working fine so what I need to do now is to add the actual menu so we are going back I'm going to close this tab here and we are going back to WordPress and going to appearance and menus as you can see we already have a menu right here um, it's called menu one uh, but it's actually not created so I have home 
blog and I'm going to add some categories food and travel add to menu great once we done that we're going to create the menu so click on create menu let's click on save menu to be sure great now I'm going to check again my website let's see if actually the website took the menu by itself yeah so it's working fine um, um, we have the home page the blog page the travel and food so if I click on blog page we actually at the blog page so this is working very well too and if I click on number two it's going to the second page wonderful so what we need to do now is to check out if everything is in place as you can see we have uh, this button here see all my articles that need to be linked to the blog page so what we are doing right now is to click on edit with Elementor on the top of this page I'm going to click on see all my articles and as you can see the link uh, is just here so in your case you would choose something like this blog slash blog slash so that you know when you click on it you get to the blog page in my case uh, I have this subdomain subfolder so I'm going to make it like that so you need to, to just leave it like this but in my case I need to make it like that maybe you remove a slash great so I'm going to update this I'm going to the view page and now if I click see my articles I'm going to the correct page now as you can see we have some um, style problem here and we can actually get in any page of Elementor for example let's go in a home page edit with Elementor and we're going to change the settings perfect now we're going to this burger menu clicking on it and we're going to site settings great we're going to change the global colors and the primary one will be black the accent color you can choose it I will leave it green so I'm going to click update we are going back and now I'm going to change the typography so if I click on typography and I'm going to select uh, the you know the body the h1 the h2 you can actually edit every um, every header in the website uh, by mod modifying all those content so what I'm going to try to do right now is to change the typography of the body and let me check what's the uh, actual um, font I used on my demo website So I used Arvo Great And let's check the main color Let's update Let's check the main text uh, Like global fonts And I'm going to try change this on um, The primary font I will click Arvo here Great So now everything changed As you can see the design changed um, and we can actually uh, add a secondary font also make it Arvo or you can actually choose which font you need uh, in my case I will do it like that and I will update everything perfect we can also change the text here to Arvo so that we have everything on the same font great I'm going to update again perfect now if I close everything and I visit my site everything should be really working well great now the website looks working fine and you can use it for your blogging website
So if this tutorial was useful to you, please get subscribe subscribe to my channel and you know you can click on the link in the description to get to my Gumroad account and download whatever you want. Of course, leave a like and see you next time in the next video. Bye.